Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Benny Bar Pilates Studio. Join me today working on the Pilates Springboard for a side leg series. Let's go ahead and set up our springboards. We're taking our long leg springs and attaching on at a level six with the foot straps on. And then if you're using that yoga block to support your head, you'll go ahead and grab that. We're using it lengthwise to place right here. Place it down at the center of your springboard. Okay, I'm starting out on my right side, so my left leg is going to be working. Take that spring that's in front of you, place it on your foot. Now, if your legs are straight out like this, we're gonna lift the feet and we're gonna angle them forward towards the front corner of our mat. So we've got a slight angle here rather than being in a straight line. We wanna think about keeping shoulder stacked over shoulder, hip stacked over hip, and not rolling back or dropping through the body. We're gonna keep a nice alignment, think long neutral spine. Now this hand can either be pressing into the mat or into the springboard, the top hand. We're gonna start out here with a lift and lower. So we're gonna go parallel, knees facing forward, close, and then we're gonna to rotate to external rotation. So your heel's gonna come in, your knee's gonna turn up to the ceiling. Lift and you feel that hip open and then pull down. Then we'll rotate back to parallel. Now these are two positions that can be difficult for people to hold and maintain or know where they are in space. So you may find yourself starting out parallel and starting to rotate as you come up to an external rotation rather than staying parallel. So this is going to be a challenge back and forth to rotate, think about holding it the whole way that you lift and the whole way that you lower and then rotating back to parallel, keeping it there the whole way that you lift and the whole way that you lower. Keep going. So that rotation, change of position happens at the bottom of the movement after you've completed the movement. One more in each position, parallel, squeeze down, externally rotated, and squeeze down. Good, right here we're gonna go into grand rond de jambe or large circle, sweep the foot out in front, lift up, around, back, and pull in. Watch that hip, you're gonna get a big stretch here, but we don't wanna roll back with it, we wanna stay controlled. Lifting up. Nice, slow, and controlled. Think about rooting through the foot that's on the mat. You can even flex through the heels so if you feel unstable, that can help to stabilize there. But we're thinking about keeping that on the floor, which is gonna help us to stabilize the hips. Two more large ones. Good. Now we're going to go into small circles. So we're going to think about staying around that bottom leg. Nice, small, and smooth. Same direction. And last one. Good, now we're gonna take those large circles opposite direction. So we're gonna reach back first, feel that big stretch, lift up around and over to the front, and then sweep back and go again. Ooh, 
Ooh, it's a chilly morning here, but it is heating up for me in the studio at this moment. All right, pulling back, we're going to take it into those small circles. So again, we're going to think about levitating over that bottom leg. Pretty small here. Good. Now, we're going to bend those knees in. So we want the knees straight out from the hips and the ankles straight out from the knees rather than being tucked here or out here. Find that nice L shape right here. And we're going to go into a parallel lift. So we want to hold the knee and the ankle where it is at that same angle. Lift up and squeeze back down. So this is like opening the cover of a book. So as you open the cover of the book, it's not going to tilt like this. We're going to purposefully tilt in both directions, but right here, we want to stay parallel. And one more. Now we're going to medially rotate. So we're going to turn knee into knee. And that heel is going to lift up higher. So we're going to lift and lower, holding this shape in position. So as we lift and pull back down, we're pulling the knee back in towards the knee. This might feel pretty unnatural. You might feel it really strongly in the hip and glutes. Keep breathing. If you're not breathing, you're dying. <laughs> One more. Good. Now let's rotate toe to toe. So we're going to come externally rotating. Whew, got a little cramp. I'm going to rub that out there. Externally rotating, so toe to toe and the knee is lifted. Now we're going to lift here and lower, squeeze back down into that position. Three more. Woo! All right, right here we're going to extend that leg straight out in front. So it's just tracking over top of your other leg. And we're going to lift the leg, push against the spring, and then pull that spring down towards the floor. Most people will try to like sickle their foot in. Think about keeping that leg nice and long and the side of your foot coming down towards the floor, not your toes. All right? This is one place where just people just want to sickle, right? Keep your leg in the same position. So if you had a mark on the mat, you'd be coming down and touching the same place every time. Good. Bring that in. We're going to give that leg a little stretch, remove that strap, and come to the other side. We do have two legs, so we got to repeat this all on the other side. Good. Grabbing that strap that's in front of you. Let's place that on the foot, set up. We're in a straight line. We're going to lift those legs, bring them forward to the front corner of your mat. Get comfortable through your shoulder. And we're going to start with that parallel lift. 
rotate externally, lift, squeeze down, rotate to parallel. Remember to pull the whole way down and then rotate. Good. Now we're going to go into large circles. Grand Ronde de Jambe to the front. Open up, reach back, and continue that motion on through. Now, let's take those small circles. Just think about hovering over that bottom leg and circling around them. Good, switch directions for those large circles. Reach back, up, around, and forward. Good, take those small circles here, same direction. All right, let's tuck those knees in. So we want those knees straight out from the hips, ankles straight out from the knees. And right here, we're going to go into that parallel lift. Good, now rotate, so knees coming into knee, foot is lifted, lift right here and pull back into the knee.
Rotate toe into toe. Knees are open. Lift here. Pull the toe back in. Two, whoo, and one. Good. Now extend that leg straight. Leg is parallel. Tap the side of the foot down. We're going to lift, push against that spring, and then pull the spring down towards the floor. Two more. Good. Bring that leg in. Give it a stretch. And remove that strap. Thank you so much for joining me for this side leg series and for your support here on my channel. If you'd like to join me for my full length springboard classes, you can join my online studio on Patreon. All that information is in the write up below. And of course, you can find more springboard content right here on YouTube. I want to thank you so much for supporting my channel. Make sure to like this video if you want to see more, just like it, and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time in the studio.